Start with defensive coordinator Matt Wallerstedt. He was at Texas A&M last year as a linebackers coach. That's where I got to know him. He's uh, been a defense corner three other spots, including Air Force. Um, when I was at University of Houston, we faced him. One of the ch most challenging schemes I've seen as a coach and does a great job. Very aggressive, aggressive in, in recruiting. Um, and I'm really excited to have him on our squad. Uh, the co-defense coordinator will be Mike Smith. He played here. Um, that's where I got to know him. He's been with the New York Jets for the last, I guess, four years and coached outside linebackers there. Uh, Trey Haverty also played here um, when I was playing. He's been at TCU and uh, was the defense coordinator at Millsaps College before that. He's coached safeties and receivers, and he'll coach safeties and be the special teams coordinator here. Uh, Kevin Curtis, another former player, a great player here at Texas Tech. He's been at Louisiana Tech the past three years. Um, he'll coach our corners. And John Scott, we just got him hired yesterday. He um, is from Georgia Southern, who has a tremendous track record of having great teams and great defenses. I think they led the nation in um, points allowed last year on defense at Georgia Southern. Brings a lot of energy, great recruiter, and really excited to have him. Offensively, um, we have Sonny Cumby, kept him. Um, Y'all know Sonny has been here a long time. Great player here, been a great coach here. He'll coach the outside receivers, and he'll be a co-offense coordinator. Eric Morris, another uh, former Red Raider wide receiver here that was um, with me at Houston for two years and was up at Washington State last year and, and does a great job coaching the inside receivers. Um, Mike Jinks, we got him out of San Antonio Steel. He's won a state championship down there, one of the most respected high school coaches in the state. Uh, known him a long time, and, and he'll do a great job for us. And for offensive line, Mike Jinx is coaching running backs for us. Offensive line, we got Lee Hayes. Um, he was at West Texas A&M. He was the offense coordinator at Baylor. Um, most recently, he was at the University of Houston, and uh, he will coach our offensive line. But I want guys that want to be head coaches. I think that's how you get the greatest work ethic out of them. You don't want guys that are content to be at a certain level. You know, you want them always want, want them to move up, and uh, that's what this group is. They all want to be head coaches, and I think a bunch of them will be one day. Yeah, I, I knew Matt, and, and I... I was thinking that's who I wanted um, when, I, when I came here, and Texas A&M wanted him too. And so they made it, made it difficult to get him, um, which, which is smart because he's a heck of a coach. And we kind of just worked through that process and took a little longer, but we got the guy we wanted. You know, during our games at Texas A&M at halftime, I'd sneak over and check out the Texas Tech scores. I mean, that's, that's when you're part of this place on the level we were, uh, it stays with you. And all these guys reached out to me. They all had great jobs. They were coveted at employees at the universities they were at and, and wanted to come back here and, and they know what, what we can make this place. It's been really receptive. A lot of these guys had previous relationships with coaches you know, at, at the schools that they were working at, so it's been great. They've slid right in and, and really hustled hard and, and are doing a great job wrapping up this 2013 class. We'll see. We'll see. We're not going to force something if we don't think they fit our system. We're, we're not going to try and just fill a number because um, we really think next year um, when we have all our ducks in a row for an extended amount of time, we can really do some work so we'll, we'll see how that goes good and, and they know a bunch of people in this area and, and are very familiar with this area so I think the overall transition for all of us most of us has, has been pretty smooth you kind of sum up what the last month and a half has been like for you fast and furious yeah it's been hectic but but it's been fun uh, just to be back and, and everybody's been great here obviously I've, I've said that a bunch of times but it's been a great energy great vibe about this place and, and can't wait to really get the players out on the field and get that going we're just really trying to fill specific needs. Now that we got Coach Wally in there, he's looked at what he really thinks he needs on defense, and we have a pretty good feel for what we're looking for on offense to kind of fill immediate needs and then go from there.